Understanding the fencing stance in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, fencing stance. This phrase isn't just about sports. It's a vivid part of the English language that can bring your conversations to life. So, let's explore what it means and how you can use it effectively. Before we understand the term, fencing stance, it's essential to know what fencing is. Fencing is a sport involving two competitors fighting with thin swords. The key here is precision, agility, and strategy. This sport dates back centuries and is known for its elegance and tactical nature. Now, let's break down the phrase, fencing stance. In fencing, the stance is crucial. It's the way a fencer positions their body, balanced, yet ready to move quickly. This stance is characterized by a specific foot position, body alignment, and readiness to engage or defend. Interestingly, fencing stance has transcended beyond the sport. In everyday English, it can describe someone who is defensive, prepared, or strategically poised in a situation. For example, if someone says, he took a fencing stance during the negotiation, it implies that the person was defensively prepared and strategically aware, just like a fencer in a match. Understanding and using phrases like, fencing stance, enriches your English. It shows a deeper grasp of the language and allows you to convey complex ideas succinctly. Plus, it adds a layer of cultural understanding as you relate to concepts rooted in history and sport. And that's our look at fencing stance. We hope this video has not only expanded your vocabulary but also given you a new perspective on how English phrases can have deeper, more colorful meanings. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be conversing with the finesse of a skilled fencer. Happy learning! and see you in our next video.